In the last video, I showed the building of the Koryak kayak and how even though this is built to be a real replica interpretation boat, it won't get a skin because its final home will be for display in Victoria, BC, Canada. But before it's delivered, I would still like to take it out on the water because, well, just because. Hi, I'm Paul. This is openwoodshop.com and today I want to show how I took a ridiculously small boat wrapped it in saran wrap and took it for a paddle. There are many combinations of fabrics and coatings used for the skin on a skin on frame boat but I use untreated or ballistic nylon as it's called and coat it with oil based polyurethane. But this time without investing a bunch of time and money into actually skinning the boat I'm going to do what skin on frame builders call the saran wrap test and for that I'm going to wrap the boat in shrink wrap and duct tape. It doesn't have to last long and I'm not going out very far but I'll get an idea of how I did on building the frame. The first time I ever did this I over wrapped the boat and I could have stayed out for over an hour with very little leakage but since this is done only to test out the balance of the frame that was a bit of overkill. It only takes less than five minutes to know if your frame is okay or not. Three or four wraps is enough. There will be a little leakage, but for about five minutes that you're out, it's okay. To finish up the wrapping process, the loose ends are duct taped down. Yet another use for duct tape. As I explained in the last video, there are two known originals of this boat, and they're in museums in Russia. One of them is a little over 8 feet long, and the other is a little over 9 feet long. I made the smaller of the two because this being for display only, it needed to fit a specific place that the larger one wouldn't have fit into. The people who originally uh, made and used these boats were, at the very least, about 30 pounds lighter than me, definitely younger than me, and apparently more flexible as well. Usually when I make a skin on frame boat, it's made specifically to my measurements. This one, however, came directly from the line drawings with no alterations. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to keep these paddles, the strings just on here like this. I'm not going to tie them on because I'm not going to be out here very long. I have no idea what's going to happen here, honestly. So, here we go. It floats, that's a good sign. So far. Can't get my feet in there. Can't even, I can only get one foot in there. I don't think I even need the paddles. The people must have been a lot smaller than you, Paul. I didn't expect it to be a comfortable ride, but there being no backrest or place to put my feet, this turned out to be one of the most uncomfortable times I've ever been in a boat. For that reason, I wasn't inspired to stay out any longer than absolutely necessary. I did, however, want to try out the ping pong paddles, and they actually work pretty good. Oh, and as a big bonus, I didn't capsize. Every indigenous boat had a specific paddle. I brought along another paddle that looks closer to what a regular kayak paddle would look like, even though the blades are long and narrow. This is a paddle that would be used with a Greenland kayak, and it worked okay as well. If getting in was hard for me, getting out was equally difficult, but at least I can say I tried it out. So now the shrink wrap can come off. The very last thing that needs to be done is to build a display stand and then it goes to its new home. If you thought this video was interesting, 
Okay. You might want to watch how this boat was built and as well get a quick primer about skin on frame boat building and history in general. There's a link below. Feel free to like, subscribe, and of course comment below. And as always, thanks for following along.